careful what you're flashing on Facebook. That's the message from the Kelso Police Department about a longtime social media scam that's popping up again. So basically, if you're on Facebook or Instagram, for example, it's quite likely you've been just clicks away from becoming a victim yourself. Fox News' Brenna Kelly is live in Kelso now. And Brenna, tell us about this scam. What is it? Well, we've all gotten those friend requests that look a little too good to be true. Police say they are, and now they're saying some people are falling into the hands of, no, not that beautiful woman you befriended, but scammers. It was comical. It's, you know, serious. Kelso police are making the issue both of those things. It's just kind of a shocking thing to kind of see. In a recent Facebook post addressing fake social media profiles. Smith. And who knows, maybe I do know or maybe I don't. I just, I don't recognize this face, name, and I don't really know anybody from Seattle or Tacoma. So. But it doesn't just stop there. Officers want you to know about a couple of reports they've taken recently about a crime maybe you've only heard about in movies. Pretty much extorting them for money because they had some private, you know, risque pictures of them. Police say there's an old form of blackmail popping back up, and it usually starts like this. A beautiful woman sends a man a friend request. My friends and I get them all the time. You know, this super attractive woman, you know, bikini, whatever. She strikes up a conversation and somehow persuades him to, well, send her naughty photos. It's easy to just get caught up in something like this, especially on social media. After that, police say the person who sent the nude pictures is sometimes blackmailed for money. You can tell. I mean, they're just there's nothing real about them. Uh, a normal woman isn't going to be sending you pictures in her underwear. People we spoke to took pride in their abilities to spot the phonies. First off, it's a uh, beautiful woman um, wanting to friend me. <laughs> No mutual friends, that's a flag, right? Yeah, that's kind of a red flag right away. Or if it's just very little friends. Officers say it really should be common knowledge at this point. But, and I quote, unless you want the world to see your privates, never, ever, ever take a photo or video of your privates. Everyone just has a weakness and to some people it's just beautiful women. The message here from Kelso Police, keep your privates private. And they say this issue is not new, but is prevalent enough they felt it needed to be addressed in this lighthearted, comical Facebook post. You can view the whole post on our website, kptv.com. Live in Kelso, Brenna Kelly, Fox 12 Oregon.